Move on in God. Today we're thankful for His mercy and grace. Amen. Thank God. Glad that your spirit has been in His house today. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Got just a little bit of reading for you, and we try to help somebody. Yeah. Lord knows my heart. And the other preachers here today, and I just as soon hear you. Long Long on you, I just as soon hear what you have to say. Yeah. You want to start here? in the 17th chapter of the book of Revelation. Hey, when I was a boy, the preachers would get up and they'd, they'd tell you to turn to Revelation. We'd automatically get fear about us. It used to be a book where people fear. Right. <laughs> Nowadays, I wonder if they'd read it. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither. I will show thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet covered beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunken with the blood of the saints and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Be glad of the Lord this morning. Move on in God. Praise the good Lord. Praise the good Lord. I might as well just go ahead and do everything I feel like doing today. Come on, brother. Yeah, okay. It's the last regular meeting we've got this year already. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. It's December, but it's the last this year. Yes, yeah. it is. We might as well just mind the Lord by rally here. Come on, brother. Glory to God. Over in the seventh chapter of the book of Proverbs, it reads this way. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Move on in God. Move on in today, Lord. Move on in God. We're at the window of my house. I looked through my casement and beheld among the simple ones. I discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding. Passing through the street near her corner and he went the way to her house. In the twilight and the evening, in the black and dark night. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of a harlot and subtle of heart. She loud and stubborn, her feet about not in her house. Now she's with, is she without? Now in the streets, life had waited every corner, so she caught it and she kissed him. And with an impudent face said unto him, I have peace offerings with me, and I have paid my vows. Therefore came I forth to meet thee. Diligently to seek thy face, and I found thee. I have decked my bed with covers of tapestry and carved works with fine linen of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh and aloes and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning. Let us solace ourselves with loves. For the good man is not at home. He is not, he's gone on a long journey. He had taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He goeth after her straightway as an ox goeth to the slaughter, or as a fool to the correction of the stocks. Till a dart strike through his liver, as a bird hasted to the snare, and knoweth not that it is for his life. Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let not thine heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths. 
For she hath cast down many wounded. Yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell. Going down to the chambers of death. Praise the good Lamb of God today. Feel like talking to us. I'll be honest with you. I've had this all month long. I've had this with me. Praise the Lord. It seems like I could come out to the house of the Lord. Maybe we can go to the reading. Feel like I'm going to just wait to the regular meeting. Just wait. I'm glad of a God that knows all things. I'm glad of the Lord that knows my little heart. He knows where we're going to be in the future. Yeah. He knows where we're going to gather at. He knows right. a month from now where you're going to be at. He knows exactly where my life is going to lead you from now. Yeah. But I come to talk to you today. Glory to God. I come to warn every one of us. It might not be popular for I get down. But I'm going to preach to you today about a heart of church. I'm going to talk to you today about a Horus church. I'm going to talk to you today about a power of God that you want it in the Holy Ghost. And begin to warn our people that they know Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. 
but before long they go from that to finding a pill somewhere. Uh -huh. Before long those pills don't help, uh, so they gotta crush them up. Uh -huh. And then they go from taking to snorting. After a while, that ain't enough. They gotta go from snorting to shooting up. Praise yeah. the Lord. And it all started with just a little thing. It all began with just a little drink. It began with just a little cigarette. Come on with me today, children. These things don't belong to God. Those things don't belong to God. Do you hear me? Those things are not of God. God doesn't want His children participating with filthiness of the flesh. Amen. But we run wild. And the Lord preaches to us, we get hurt, and here comes that harlot. Yeah. It's been out on the corner waiting for us. <laughs> and the Lord says, Oh, I, I sought you out. I just felt like you needed some help. Come, come down here. Come over here. Oh, you've been hurt. Them whole in this church is. Uh, why don't you just come on down to where so and so is? He's a preaching. Oh, and the church is packing out. Yeah. Oh, we're getting help. I got help. Yeah. Let me warn you today, my friend. If you can go to the heart and get some help, there's something wrong with your soul already. There's something wrong in your heart already. If you can go to the world and preach the double man and preach the Jesus only preach come on with me today and we'll get you some help. I doubt what you got in your life. It takes the Holy Ghost to help me. It takes the I came for it to meet thee diligently did I seek you. I just felt, oh, I was praying. Oh, I was praying and the Lord just laid you on my heart. You know, when you read the Word of God, you read that name Baal, B-A-A-L. You know that means Lord. Um, so when they thought I'm going out to worship the idol, they are going out to worship the Lord. Come on. Praise the Lord. Their Lord. Their Lord. Their Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm pretty sure when they would invite somebody, he wouldn't come worship my Lord. They'd say, let's go worship the Lord. Oh, Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Praise our Lord. Praise our Lord. Fall out on the floor. Part of the world's moving on you. Amen. Right. 
Oh. You better worry about being decent when you hit the floor. What's moving on you? Praise God, I got the Holy Ghost. He won't let me out. I'm going to be decent when I lay out. He wants to lay you out. You're going to be decent just like I lay out a corpse for you. And you're going to be just good perfect. Hello, children. Ain't going to need nobody to stand on the lay side with a blanket and cover up your indecency. God doesn't move in indecency. The church of God is to be decent and in order the way God intended me, but the heart of church. They threw the rule books out the door. Anything goes. Right. Praise the Lord. We have glory. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. They used to be women. They might still be women. Years ago. And I'm trying to be just as careful as I can. They used to be a women years ago. At church. Not this church, but a part of church would get together. Come on, yeah. And the brother will go to his sister that wasn't even his woman and say, I feel like the Lord wants me to go home and study with you tonight. <laughs> you think I'm telling you stories? Praise the Lord. The devil preacher go turning the lights off. Yep. So everybody can get comfortable. Shame and a disgrace. Amen. Right, dude. Right. 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 Well, we got a movement now that don't even turn lights off. Amen. Amen. They pick them out of brother and leave theirs. They go grab him. When they're tired of him, they go back to the same one. Yeah. Yeah. Then they get tired of him, they throw him back down again, go find another brother. Yeah. Pray, don't even hurt myself. Yeah. Pray, Lord, they say, you know, come on, honey, it was just a mistake. I want to tell you, adultery is not a mistake, it's a sin in the eyes of God. Amen. Yeah. Pray, you don't want any house. Praise the Lord in your house. A Holy Spirit. Yeah. It's all in the heart of spirit getting on. Amen. Simple minded, unlearned people. And before you know it, they really sit in the house of God and they look about every brother in the church knows them. Help him, Lord. I'm telling you today, that ain't a part of God's plan. God never set this thing up. God is merciful. God is love. God loves people, but He never set this church up so that people could go out and commit filth and come out on the end and just pat them on the back, pull them up front, give them a microphone, put an instrument in their hand, and tell them to go around home like nothing ever happened. That's a heart at church. Amen. John wondered after her with great admiration. And our people are wondering with admiration today. To the point you see so much go on. You see people, you know the things that they do. You know the things that they've done. And you wonder how they can get in. But they go to church and you're fighting a battle. You're fighting a fight. Feel like you can't hardly pray. Feel like you can't hardly build the Lord. And they want out service after service. And they're speaking in some kind of tongue. And they're dancing across the floor. Hell today. I want to tell you why. I want to clear your mind today. You know why you can't move? Because you don't move until the real thing gets on you. But a heart can get with anything. A heart can move with anything. A heart can move with any old thing. They come to me. They go to shout. He go by himself. So let me stand and watch it shallow. Let me say my brother said, let it go on. I say one thing about it. But my long while it does rise up. And it begins to set his foot down. And the mountains begin to tremble and melt away. And the skies begin to thunder. And the real thing begin to come in. Oh heart, it has to go sit down. Oh heart, it gets coming. Well, it's about time we start pouring out the heart. Come on. Come on. Amen. Kick it out of the house. Come on. Come on. Well, anything may suit you while you're living. But you're going to come that day when you're going to die. You're going to leave this world. It's so important. The Bible begins to stop and say, hearken. It means listen. 
Hearken unto me thou, now therefore. O you children, and attend the words of my mouth. Let not thine heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her path. I'm standing up here and I'm watching the church as a whole and I'm watching them begin to let their heart, praise the Lord, be drawn away and decline to her ways. I'm watching them begin to get off that straight and narrow and begin to walk on that other pathway. <laughs> Glory to God, where they go ahead and prophesy. Listen to me now. They don't even stop prophesying now. Used to be they get in trouble, get caught, they quit prophesying. Now they just go around ahead and go on prophesying. Go around ahead and go on preaching, go on singing, go on shouting like nothing ever happened. And they changed dance partners a long time ago. Everything will be all right until you get ready to die. You find yourself, your heart has already been drawn away, declined to the harlot's way. You'll be walking in the harlot's footsteps. For she hath cast down many wounded. Did you hear that? You know what they're looking for, Brother Terry? Somebody hurts you, honey. That's okay. That's okay. They're looking for the one that's just been wounded. You ever been wounded? Yeah. And they're coming at it's all right, honey. You go right ahead. Yeah, I come right along. Go right ahead. You come down here with me. Come on. And I was going to you go okay when they preach it to you. Nah. Yeah. You couldn't run from over there and come over here because you do the same thing here. Nah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Go up the road. You couldn't run from here and go up there and hide because you hear the same thing I've done. Right. Right. You heard here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Well, I said praise the Lord. She's pulled down many wounded. Come on, brother. You don't find them ones and begin to talk smooth to them and pet on a little bit. It's all right, preacher God, you cut your hair. You come to my church, you can cut your hair. You can go to hell if you want to, but I don't recommend it. Amen. Brother Turner, they think those preachers are silly. They cut their hair off, then they put it up. Like the Holy Ghost ain't going to speak to you and tell you she's trimming her hair. Come on, brother. Come on. The Holy Ghost tell me. Come on, son. Any of you sisters get your hair to grow all straight even across? No. You've not learned to do that yet? No. I'm going to tell you why the other ones do. Right, amen. Because that old heart has been talking to her. Right. And they're turning into a heart of herself. Amen, Brother Desi. Amen, amen Brother Desi. We might as well. Amen. It's a truth in your house. It's a truth in your house. How long is long? Just leave it alone and find out. Amen. 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 Get all that junk off of you. Get all that pride off your face. Right. Humble down to be a man of God. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Are you glad to be a part of the church of the living God? Yeah. Are you glad to be a part of the born again? Amen. True believer. Yeah. Come on. Sanctified. Holy Ghost believer. Well, come right on with me just a little while longer and I'll try to leave you alone. Come on. Come on. Yeah, many strong men have been slain by her. I can go. I'm strong. I can go. I can go sit with them. I can go and worship with them. Bear with me. Bear up with me. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? 
That's 2 Corinthians in the 6th chapter, by the way. Yeah. New Testament. What concord, what agreement hath Christ with the lie? Oh, what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? I'm strong. It won't bother me. It ain't going to get a hold of me. You go around them long enough, you sit with them long enough, you run with them long enough, there's one or two things that's going to happen. Either you're as strong as you say you are, and you're going to win them over, or you're fooled where you're sitting, and they're going to win you over. And I'm watching, Brother Terry, and I'm watching the devil win some. You, they, you don't think the devil wins some? The devil wins some. He'll never beat God, but he'll beat you all day long. I stay on Sunday if you let him. Pray the Lord in your house. Stay away from the heart. What agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For you are the temple of the living God. Well, even in old Barney's a new coat of paint, they say they want it all up, put your makeup on. I won't tell you the Bible didn't call you a barn. No. It said you are the temple of the living God. Amen. 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 Praise Jesus. As God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. And I will be their God. Yeah. And they shall be my people. Yeah. Yeah. Wherefore, all oh, the harlot does not like this verse. Come on, son. Hell. Our people will quote it. They'll say the world. They say, don't say the world. It's talking about the world. Right. Wherefore, come, on. come ye out from among them, yeah. and be ye separate, yeah. saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing, yes. and I will receive you. Yes. Right. Oh, and you. will be a father unto you. Yes. Yes. And you shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. The Lord Almighty. Father of the clean church. God of the sanctified people. Opponent to the harlot church. Enemy of the harlot church. I go with them. I worship with anybody. I can't worship with anybody. You worship with the devil, there's something wrong with you. You handle service with the devil, there's something wrong with you. Amen. You cross out and smooth things to the devil, there's something wrong with you. Praise the Lord. If you're going to the heart and tell them I'm well pleased with you, God never spoke out of your mouth. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Remember on Micaiah? When the old king Ahab wanted to go up, he wanted to go to war, and all his old harlot prophets kind of prophesying good things to him. Yeah. 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 When they come to the man of God, the prophet God said, now they all speak a good thing. You do the same thing. I can only speak what God you me to speak. Right. Well, they got up there and they began to kind of just go along with him, just tell him what they wanted to hear, and he adjured and commanded him to speak what the Lord had given him. He said, I see all Israel scattered. Right. Oh, yes, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you he never prophesied smooth things to me? Glory to God, it told lock him up. Give him bread of affliction, water of affliction, till I return to what the cow said. If you return at all in peace, the Lord has not spoken by my mouth. Harlot prophets, they ain't too sure about their prophecy. No, no, no. But you let a man of God or a woman of God that the Holy Ghost speak. Right, they know exactly, brother. They know exactly what's going on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. And you're here today. Because if you have not been drawn away yet, they're going to come your way. Yeah. Right. Come on. 
If I were to take a poll, and I don't want you raising your hand, I would ask you how many of you was raised up under that preaching, stay out of worldly places. How many would raise your hand? Stay away from worldly things. How many would have to raise your hand? Yeah. Yeah. And one, don't go to these, well, I got no other way, but these worldly places, the worldly churches. How many have to raise your hand? Yeah. They preach to you about dressing like your gender is supposed to dress. Yeah. Well, the glory of God. Yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. That you women act like a lady. Yeah. And you men act like a lady. Yeah. If those sissy spirits get them out, we, they don't belong to them. Yeah. The feminine can't make it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. You can get them sing to you and prophesy all day long to you, but if the Bible says that the effeminate is not going to make it. Yeah. If they're sissy, they're not going to make it in. Yeah. You know these things. You know this clothes line. You know this sacrifice way. How many is going and sitting with them? Yeah. How many going and worshiping with them? Praise the Lamb of God. I said praise the Lamb of God. Praise the Lamb of God. They said a while ago, it's been so good to me. And everybody in this church has been on your feet. Say, yeah, man, it's been so good to me. I'm glad today that we are part of the church that God yeah. Through his son found it. You mean the devil's got a church? I'll get done as soon as I can. Don't worry, the Mexicans will still be open. Don't worry. If God's got a church, then the devil's got one too. If God's got preachers, then the devil's got one too. They're not going to come to you looking like an old devil preacher. They're going to come. They're going to have their long sleeves. Right. They're going to have their hair cut. Right. But it's the spirit that they have inside them. Come on. That the whole time they're moving, there's something in you that is going off like bells and alarms. Something's wrong. Yeah. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Then you look, you see the elders that get with them. And you begin to make you question, there must be something wrong with me. Yeah. You see them prophesy to them and tell them good things. They must, I'm sure they must have missed that. And I'm telling you, child, you just wait right along. You bide your time and I promise you when the Lord teaches you something, just down the road you'll see it come out. Right. Oh, well. You'll see it come out. It may look like a yeah. sheep, but eventually <laughs> somewhere down the road it's going to bark and growl and you're going to know all along that 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 was trying to teach you was of God. Right. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. We're down at the end now, Brother Mike. Wow. People carry away and sing. Reckon we all just let down the bars now so we can get people in the church. Oh, uh -uh. Maybe we all lower the standard a little bit so we can pack it out. Uh -huh. yeah. You let down the bars, you're going to lose your soul. Yeah. Right. Yeah, man. You lower the standard of wow. God, you're backslid the moment you do it. Yeah. Yeah. You may pack it out, but this is not going to be here. It might make you happy. It didn't make me happy too because I'm going to escape when it goes the wrong way. I'm going to get mine. I'm going to get out of Sodom. I'm going to flee from the Lord. Because the wrath of God is coming and He's coming on the heart of the church. And I love the Lord and I love His good ways. We're about to turn it back over to you. To let you go. But don't forget the warning that I brought to you today. Be good to people. Yeah. Right. Love people. Right. You don't just walk around just talking. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't just walk around slap people and be mean to them. But I'll be fair with you. No matter who's getting in, if you don't feel anything to get in with, you have a right just to hold your seat. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If they get up and they're preaching something that's not the Word, you don't have to say, come on. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. If it's not the Word, they don't need to come on. Right. 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 Praise the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fired with you. You don't have to shout with just anything. You don't have to think shout with or pray you get something to shout with. Glory to God. You better stay away from that heart. You better flee from that part of the church. Amen. You get with some of these evangelists and it goes out to her in different places. He goes to a lot of different places. I don't get to go to. Ask him about it. See. He not talk to me. I not talk to him. We don't do it. That's my brother in law, but we don't sit and talk all the time. Verse 7, but we see each other. But ask him sometimes. If it's not creeping in, the heart 
He's moving in. Oh, yeah. And people were so desperate yeah, the that they grabbed hold of the heart of the uh -huh. It's looking for the unlearned. The ones that's not prayed, the ones that are not strong, the ones that don't seek God, don't read the Word of God, the ones that aren't sanctified. Yeah. And they're grabbing with them and they're running on. Yeah. People are running with them. Yeah. I love the Lord. I love you. Good way. You don't find us sitting over here. We'll turn back to over to you. Y'all mind the Lord, Thank you, Jesus. <laughs>